So here's a question um, on thermodynamics uh, for mastering. And we're asked to find the equilibrium constant K at a particular temperature and it gives us the reaction. All right, so we know that delta G equals, well, we'll get, we'll get to that in a second, negative RT ln K. We know what R is, we're given a temperature and we need to find delta G of a reaction. All right, <coughs> so it says using thermodynamic data. Here's the deal. Notice this is at 680 Kelvin, which is not standard conditions. That means we can't use the tabulated free energies of formation in the back of the book. So we have to do delta G of the reaction equals delta H, so that can be a standard, minus T delta S. We did one of these in the practice problems. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, gotten some of these. It gives you one of these, and that's kind of your hint that you have to use uh, this relationship. So our delta H, remember we always do products minus reactants. So our product is N204. There's only one mole of it, 9.16 kilojoules per mole. That makes that easy. One reactant, there's two moles, and that's 33.2 kilojoules per mole. Feel free to double check me, I will not be mad. All right, let's get this plugged in. So 9.16, uh, 16 minus, two times 33.2, negative 57.2, okay? And now delta S. All right, here, once again, we have one mole, and this is 304.4, this is joules per mole Kelvin, minus two moles, and this one is 240.1 joules per mole Kelvin. Make sure you're using the correct units here. So we have 304.4 minus two times 240.1. All right, so I get negative 175.8, and that's gonna be in joules per Kelvin. It's most convenient here to go ahead and make this kilojoules, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So that's negative uh, 0.176 kilojoules per Kelvin. Now we can come up with this delta G of the reaction. All right, so that's gonna be delta H, negative 57.2 uh, kilojoules, minus temperature 680 Kelvin and delta S negative 0 0.176 kilojoules per Kelvin. All right, so let's go with negative 57.2 minus 680 times the previous answer. Oh dear. All right, so I got 62.3. and that's gonna be kilojoules, and this is positive. Okay, so this would be non-spontaneous at this temperature. It doesn't ask us that, but it's always good to note. Now we can use this relationship. All right, so delta G, 62.3, not 63.2. Uh, let's go ahead and make that joules equals negative R, 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Our temperature here is 680 Kelvin. And we're gonna have natural log of K. And remember these moles are gonna go away. Um, as part of the equilibrium constant, you just kind of have to trust me on that. Okay, so, um, 62.3, let's multiply that by 1,000. Divide by negative 8.314, 
and let's divide by 680. Okay, so I get um, negative 11, or somewhere in that, uh, equals ln k. So k is going to be e to the negative 11, or something very close to that. So let's do e, oh, not to the negative, to that answer. So I got 1.64, 10 to the negative 5. There's no units on uh, the equilibrium constant, so we're done.